very good afternoon Dutch bike blogger here on my bike ride to home free from work temperature is a lot nicer than this morning Topic for today, bike computers. In my, well not the video before this one, but another one. I was going home to Padapool and then, not from work to Padapool and then going home. I went to a bike shop for the bike computer for the bike I'm driving on to have a look what was available. And they were quite pricey. I was searching for a wireless bike computer and it cost in the shop 138 euros and the other one 34. Quite a big price for a bike computer. Of course it will be quality I know but it's a little overpriced for the purpose I have recreational purpose. I wanted to see how fast I'm going and how, how long the distance is. So I didn't buy anything. What I did when I got home, got on the internet and had a look what was available. Well I use normally two sites. One is the well-known AliExpress and the other less known Banggood. I searched both for bike computer, wireless, so only a uh, bike computer on the handlebars and a wireless transmitter receiver on my spoke, on my front fork and a magnet on the spoke. Guess what? The cheapest one I could find was four euros thirty-three cents, including shipping from China. That's almost a tenth of the price I would have paid in the shop. Of course, in the shop I had a different computer. The one I saw on the internet was, well, did have an unknown marking to it. But that's something I would like to try. When it doesn't work, well, I lost 4 euros and 33 cents. It looked okay, saw the reviews. Everybody received the product, were quite happy about how it worked. Of course I know when I buy something that cheap that first of all it is a chance that it's not going to arrive or that it's arrived and it's broken or that it's arrived and it's working and it's not working well but that's a chance I have to take and I'm willing to take I could go even cheaper for two, Euro, two euros I could buy a bike computer with a wire. But then you have a transmitter on your front fork, a wire over the front fork to your steering wheel, to the holder where you can click in the display. Well, with my bike in use in winter, carrying stuff on it, of course you can wait that the wire is going to break, so that's not an option.
but if, the, if there's not an issue for you, you could, uh, you could do that. I'll post a link in the description box below for the bike computer with uh, the wireless one. And also try to find a link for the bike computer with the wire, the cheaper version. So look in the description box please. Of course you can make it as expensive as you want. There are bike computers which are way way more costly but and one of a cat eye or something was 50 euros. Probably gonna be better. But that's a choice you make. I cannot look in your wallet. You can buy all things, buy well, all kinds of things on the internet. AliExpress and Banggood. I saw some J hooks for the camera mount on my chest. 57 cents a piece. Really, really cheap. Also the cheapest I could find, well, it's a disposable item, aka when it breaks, I have to take, pick a new one, no issue. Of course when you take a more expensive one, the quality will be better, the sort of plastic they use will be nicer and better and sturdier. For the purpose I'm using it, well, it's something breaks once in a while, not an issue. Actually, getting quite warm at the moment. Really surprised. It also surprises me that the building to my right, at one o'clock or so, is coming along nicely. Two cranes. Also gonna be a student apartment arrangement. By the way, if you're thinking where am I going, I like to go to city center because I have to pick up my passport. I applied for it last week and as of yesterday I could go and obtain it. Yesterday it was too late at home to go there, but now it's a nice time to go. Hopefully a little quiet. And I don't have to wait very much long longer than necessary. Back to the bike computer, I have a mountain bike with a Sigma computer on there, bike computer. It's as old as the bike. Well, I bought the bike in August. 94. It's 1994. So it's a pretty old bike computer, but it did the work quite well. It's an obsolete model, so it only gave me mileage or kilometers in whole. So. 28, 29, nothing between it. I would have liked a digit more, so 29.5, 29.6 or so. 
that was a wired by computer but since I only drove my mountain bike in summertime never in rain or in cold it was not a, not a problem that it was a wire and I was not attaching anything to the handlebars like bags and stuff and things and back in the day they didn't have wireless bike computers to tell you distance and time speed and whatnot average speed distance well have to not to be sophisticated top speed would be nice current speed maximum speed and distance it's all you need from a bike computer at least I do I've looked at the thing in a while so it could be that the battery is empty or oxidized or whatnot could not even be working at the moment okay being broken not sure I didn't ride my bicycle my my mountain bike for a while at least several years last two years ago I bought some tires for them I once rode on them and well issue with the bump back is that the saddle is quite hard it's not comfortable Well, let's coast a little because I can do two things, drive fast and get in the front and then can stop anyhow. I'm gonna do that. Driving fast it will only get me into troubles, so let's not do that. Well, you have to keep your attention focused because people drive like look like India here or Vietnam driving through each other walking people walking barely looking out only busy with their own issue where they have to go And I wouldn't be all surprised if somebody crossed the road without looking. Like these people did. They looked, but they were not on the pedestrian crossing, so I'm not going to wait for them. I'll step on the white black line thingy, and it will stop for you. Well, you don't bother to do so. I'm not gonna stop, I'm sorry. I don't have to actually. It would be nice if it did, but I don't. Well, with the sunshine, it's quite busy here. I 
actually planning on going this morning, but I got a message that I had to work earlier. Let's see if there's some space to park my bike over here. Closer to the community center or the Gemeente House, the city hall, I mean. I'll see you in a bit. Well, as you could see, I changed location from where I parked my bike because I had to get lunch. And because Burger King is more convenient located, I went to there. Actually, I had last Monday when I applied for my passport, I also had lunch there, a Whopper which actually tasted quite nice so I bought another one but I got my passport and ID card so I'm sufficiently supplied with IDs for the next 10 years very convenient is it
really strange. You know, in, in the middle of the day with a truck in the inner city, but it doesn't fit actually at all. And bikes have to go on the sidewalk because the truck is pushing through. <laughs> and I waited and I thought he had room enough, but probably not. And bystander said, and I'm going to help him, help him me. The truck driver said, I can go push on and you're on the, in the hospital. Well, luckily that's on tape. Well, we had a little uh, discussion. I do understand him, but it's not nice to do that that way. He just had to wait and then the bikes had passed and he could have continued. But he actually pushed on because he was bigger. Well, that's okay. But then you be confronted with me. Luckily I have my camera so everything is on tape. And this nice gentleman will go on YouTube, I can assure you. And hopefully you learn something that you don't push. Normally he gets away with it, I think. Yeah, or And I actually was waiting for the truck drive to continue, but he probably didn't have the room. I thought he had, but he hadn't. And I know he's driving carefully, I very much know that. But it's not okay when you drive on and the bikes in front of you have to flee on the, the, the sidewalk to get by. Take it easy on the roundabout, not sure what's going to happen here. Let's wait a little. Try to take it easy. Well, that's something you get when you get in the busy inner city in the afternoon. Well. like to some judgment and comments from you should I done it differently should a truck driver done it differently or was it quite okay how it was handled Well, not sure what the car behind me, beside me is doing. Probably blew up his gearbox or something. Or tried to. We're almost home. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And of course I will see you next time. And try to be safe, especially in uh, busy environments.